Hey guys, Slink here with another video and the other day I got an email from AkiSonos and they'd just given me all of their plugins for free. I'm like, sweet, I love it when that happens. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is just take a look at some of their plugins and I'll explain how they work. We're mainly going to be looking at the Regroover Pro, which is a super interesting plugin. It kind of like splits audio files into different layers and you can dig inside of samples. So let's take a look. So before we talk about the regroover, let's take a look at these guys, the reverb remover, plosive remover, noise remover, and the deesser. Pretty self-explanatory, but let's just do a little demo of how it works. So I'm going to record some quote unquote bad vocals with an OTT and a reverb on my vocals, and I'll move my pop filter out of the way. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. <laughs> okay, let's get this pop filter back in. So let's hear what this sounds like. I'll turn it up a little bit. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. Pretty bad. So the first thing I want to address is the palms are sweaty. The P sound is too poppy, so we're going to use the plosive remover. I gotta say, I love these little plugins, you know, it's just one knob, so it's really easy for my tiny brain to understand how it works. You turn it up or you turn it down. It's pretty simple. So let's see how this affects the sound. His palms are sweaty. 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 So you can hear that P sound has a lot less bass in it and it's less poppy, you know? Works pretty good. We'll try the reverb remover next. This one's pretty sweet. You can focus in on different frequencies, but I think we'll just leave it on all frequency focus. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's you can't go too much with it because it starts to really destroy the audio, but his palms are sweaty. That's pretty good. His palms are sweaty, knee his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Let's try the high frequency focus. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Wow, that's pretty good. So you hear that S sound. There's vomit on his sweater already. That's ear piercingly loud. So we'll try the de and we'll see if we can dial it back a little bit here. There's vomit on his sweater already. 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 That's a lot better. Let's try intense mode. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. I'm, I'm uh, increasing the effect dramatically so you can really hear it. That works pretty good as well. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom. So simple. And the noise remover. Uh, there isn't too much noise in this vocal, but I tried to use the OTT to boost up some of that ambient kind of room sound. So we'll see if we can reduce that now. His palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. There's his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. That works pretty good. Now let's check out the beat former. So I have a little drum track here from Clyde Stubblefield. And this is like a professional studio recording of a really, really good drummer. So the beat former is kind of like the Ableton 10's new drum bus, you know, with the transient shaping and the boom and whatnot. So let's maybe do a comparison between these two. So let's try out the B-former first. Man, that sounds pretty good. Let's try this air knob. We'll try the boom as well. What is this? Oh wow, you can even pick the note. That's amazing. Let's try like something real low, like 36 hertz. Man, I can feel that in the sub pack big time. So that's pretty much all there is to say about that. There's a couple of uh, other little set settings here, mid side. Let's try and get that same effect with the drum bus. It 
the Ableton one does sound really good. There's no air in the drum bus, um, but there is air in the beat former. So I'm not sure how they are doing that. I guess it's kind of like a, there's a high split here at 8,000 Hertz. It's almost like these three knobs are in one band and then this uh, knob is in a second band. So I suppose we could, to speed this up, I'll just grab something out of my Slink Essential Ableton Toolbox. Go to my website and buy it right now. In tools, we'll go a two band split and then we'll just put the drum bus on the bottom split and we'll have the split at 8,000 hertz. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, I'm not sure how they're doing the air. While the drum bus sounds really good, the beat former, the beat former sounds pretty good as well. I don't know, which which one do you think is better? Let me know in the comments. All right, so let's check out the Regroover Pro. We'll just drag it in. It wants us to drag a clip in. So let's try this beat here. Let's drag that in, it's gonna analyze it. So what this plugin does, it's, it's using spectral filtering to kind of isolate different sounds. It also has some kind of artificial intelligent algorithm that I guess detects transients and then analyzes the following frequencies and kind of splits things up. But anyway, let me set the um, tempo of my project to 99. We'll drag this in again. That's the tempo of this beat. Apparently it's double speed, so we'll just click this divide by two button. So it sounds exactly like it did before, but now we can solo these layers. Let's check this out. So that's like the kick. That's kind of like the crash and like some of the hi-hats or the some of the transients from the snare. So it's pretty cool. Over here in this analysis tab, you can change the number of layers you wanted to split it up into, and you can also change the activity. I'm not really sure what this does. Let's try it out and see if the layers change at all. I'm not really sure. I think the high activity seems to be like a faster like release time, I suppose. Because everything sounds a little bit more smoother now. But what's really interesting is let's drag this clip into the project and we'll play the regroover and the original clip at the same time. <laughs> There's like this sweet phasing effect and you can actually pan these different layers to the left and right channels. And you can also turn the, the sides or the mids up. There's also some effects here like a compressor, a gate, a saturation, transient shaper. Pretty sweet. Let's turn, let's turn the saturator up. Pretty crazy stuff. You can also use this eraser tool to kind of guide the way that the regroover is splitting the frequencies. So let's take these sounds out of this layer and we want them to go into this layer. So we'll just lock these other two layers and then click split and it sort of put those pieces down there. There's also like some looping so you can jam out different ideas. It sounds super weird. Let's try a different sample. This one really demonstrates the power. So there's a lot going on in that sample. I'll set the project file to um, 125 BPM and we'll drag the sample in. Pretty nuts. Let's turn this grid on and then we'll get the eraser tool and we'll take these little dings out of this layer and what layer do we want them to go into? Probably layer three, so we'll lock the other two layers. Split. By the way, if you don't lock the other layers, it'll just randomly put it in a different layer.
But as you can see, it's pretty nuts. And you can go project, save this project, and load them up later. You can export the different layers, the mix downs of the layers. There's some settings in here, just a default save path, which is pretty convenient. There's the expansion kit here, which is basically like a little drum rack, if you will. You can take little samples and just drag them onto here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun. I tried the other day isolate an acapella which had some music in the background and I had sort of varying results. Let me pull up a sample. Yeah, this one might be interesting. I'm just a DJ, baby, mixing for you. I'm just a DJ. So let's try low and we'll go with like a six band split. I'm just a I'm <laughs> Let's kind of make this the vocal track and we'll use the little eraser tool. Let me lock these other channels. It's <laughs> getting there. Yeah, it's it's kind of close. I feel like if you spend a lot of time on it, uh, you might be able to get it going on. I wish there was like a, a zoom function or something so you can really get into the nitty gritty and, and slice it up using this eraser tool, but there doesn't seem to be any zooming going on. Yeah, so let's try some just base one shots. We'll drag this sound in and we'll see what kind of layers we got. That's interesting. It's like the left and right layers of that high harmonic. Like the deep sub with a bit of mids there. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Let's turn the mid sides up on all these um, layers except for layer 5. Does that sound more stereo? Let's try this sample. Pretty crazy how you can dig into a sample. It, it's kind of sweet as well because if you weren't sure how this sound was made or maybe you've got a sample in your sample library and you're not sure how it was made, you might get a little insight into the different parts that make up the sound as a whole by dragging it into Regroover. <laughs> I like that better than the original sound now. You can definitely get some interesting results with it. So there you go, AccuSonus, Regroover Pro, the other plugins, all very handy stuff. But Regroover Pro especially is a really interesting plugin. It does stuff that I didn't even know was possible. So if you want to check it out, links in the description. And thanks for watching. Peace.